Good evening. Uh, today we have a case of twin pregnancy by Dr. Nishita, OBGPG. Mrs. XY, 24 years, J2, P1, L1, previous NVD, 35 weeks plus 4 days, DCDA twins for safe confinement. Booked and immunized. LMP 6821, EDD is 13522. Blood group is B positive. Patient came to OP for regular antenatal checkup and was advised admission as she had complaints of undue enlargement of the abdomen, mm -hmm. respiratory distress and swelling of legs. Perceives fatal movements well. No complaints of pain abdomen, leaking PV or bleeding PV. Obstetric history, first trimester. Spontaneous conception confirmed by UPT at 40 days of amenorrhea. Folic acid was taken, dating scan done and it was corresponding. NT scan done and it was normal. No history of hyperemesis gravidarum. No history of any nausea, vomiting, radiation exposure, trauma or drug intake. Second trimester, quickening was felt at fifth month. Perceived fatal movements well. Uh, two doses of injection TT were taken. Iron and calcium were taken regularly. Anomaly scan done, no gross anomalies. OGTT was done at 14 weeks plus 4 days and it was 64 mcg per deciliter. No history of any imminent signs and symptoms. No complaints of pain abdomen, leaking PV or bleeding PV. Third trimester, perceives fatal movements well. Growth scan done, normal growth parameters, iron and calcium were taken, no history of any imminent signs and symptoms, no complaints of pain abdomen, leaking PV, bleeding PV. Menstrual history was regular and uh, no clots or no dysmenorrhea. Marital history married since 2 years, non-consanguinous marriage. Past obstetric history, male, 2 years, full-term NVD, 3 kgs, B positive, alive and healthy. Past history, not a known case of any diabetes, mellitus, hypertension, TB, bronchial asthma, epilepsy, thyroid disorder, any blood transfusion or drug allergy. Personal history, consumes mixed diet, normal bubble and bladder habits, normal sleep pattern. Family history, history of twins present in maternal side. Okay, so in history, you have told uh, GTT is 65 microgram, no? It should be milligram. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So, continue. On examination, a febrile pallor is present, bilateral pedal edema, a systemic examination, CVS S1 is to heard, RS normal, vesicular breath sounds, breath, breast normal, thyroid normal. Per abdomen, uterus was termed, relaxed, cephalic, multiple lob, fetal parts were present, FH1 plus, that is 140 beats per minute and FH2 was 142 beats per minute, PS no leak oblique PV, PV was up, cervix soft, posterior, os closed. So, can you tell the summary of your case? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. XY, age 24 years, G2P1L1, was admitted with complaints of undue enlargement of the abdomen, respiratory distress and swelling of the legs. Her LMP was 6821, EDD was 13522 and period of amenorrhea was 35 weeks, 4 days. No history of any treatment of infertility. She was antenatally checked regularly. She had family history of twins. She had no significant history. On physical examination, her weight is 83 kg, pallor present, edema present, pulse is 93 per minute, respiration, respiratory rate is 27 per minute, BP is 120 80 mmHg. On obstetrical examination, examination, abdomen seems to be unduly enlarged, height of the fundus is more than the period of amenorrhea, there are too many fetal parts palpable, two fetal heads are palpable, amount of lycus seems to be excess, two fetal heart sounds are distinctly heard, one above the umbilicus and another at right spino umbilical line. Okay, so uh, what is the pre-pregnancy weight? My pre-pregnancy weight was uh, 65. Okay, so there is a history of excessive weight gain in this pregnancy that is around 18 kg. Yes ma'am. So, what are the conditions when the height of fundus becomes more than the period of amenorrhea or what are the cause of size more than dates? Yes, ma'am. So, inaccurate menstrual history, one, it could be a multiple pregnancy like, like in this case, hydramnios, large baby, hydratiform mole, abruptio placenta, concealed variety, pregnancy with uterine fibroids, pregnancy with ovarian tumors and also pregnancy with full bladder. Okay, so you should always examine an antenatal patient for gestational age assessment after emptying the bladder yes, and inaccurate menstrual history can be because wrong dates or maybe she doesn't remember. Yes ma'am. Okay. What are the maternal complications of multiple pregnancies? Antenatally, the maternal complications are exaggerated pregnancy symptoms, mechanical distress, anemia, preeclampsia, hydramnios, antipartum hemorrhage, malpresentation, preterm labor, uh, PROM, obstructive uropathy. Intranatally, uh, the Maternal complications are early rupture of membranes, cord prolapse, difficulty in delivery in cord prolapse, intrapartum hemorrhage, retained placenta and postpartum hemorrhage. Postnatally, puerperial sepsis, problems in lactation and also subinvolution of uterus. Okay, you see you have written malpresentations. Actually, malpositions can also happen like face and... Yes, ma'am. Okay, what is the utility of ultrasound in twin pregnancy? 
Uh, it helps in diagnosing uh, multiple pregnancy from early gestation, mm -hmm. diagnosis of vanishing twin, mm -hmm. determination of chorionicity, diagnosis of fetal congenital anomaly, mm -hmm. viability and determination of gestational age, diagnosis of IUGR and monitoring the growth by serial sonography, diagnosis of twin twin transfusion syndrome by colored Doppler, size and localization of the placenta, line presentation of fetuses to determine the amniotic volume and also it can be used therapeutically to for a selective fetal reduction or termination. Right. So, what is the earliest period when twin pregnancy can be diagnosed by USG? The two gestational sacs can be seen during the fourth week by the embryonic pole and the heartbeat can be detected from sixth week onwards. Okay. And what precautions should be taken during ultrasound to over-diagnose twin pregnancies? Two fetal heads or two fetal abdomens should be seen in the same plane. This will avoid scanning of the same fetuses twice. And interpreting them as twins. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is twin peak sign? Twin peak sign uh, can be found in early weeks from uh, 10 to 14 weeks when where dichorionic twin is differentiated from the monochorionic twin. This sign is a triangular projection of placental tissue between the layers of dividing membrane over the chorionic surface. Here the intervening membrane becomes a thick and consists of four layers. Twin peak sign is diagnostic of dichorionic gestation. It is also known as the lambda sign. After 20 weeks this sign may disappear.